I want to pivot slightly on a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. Um, how how common is like in, in the industry like being a romantic or polyamorous or any of that stuff? Hmm, it's it's interesting because what I've noticed, and and I'm just this is just what I've always seen that would shock yeah. people. You do find a lot more. I'd say actors and actresses that are really actually monogamous. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's way more common than, than what I've seen than, than on the other side, at least from what I've always seen. Um, and that would definitely manifest itself in, you know, a lot of jealousy and stuff, but, it, but it's, it's very specific jealousy because nobody ever has a problem with someone going to work you know, air quotes mm -hmm. work, right? Cause you understand it. Like that's work, but work ends when the scene is finished. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I would say people would probably be shocked how many actors and actresses are truly monogamous in their relationships outside of, you know, what is considered work. Um, much less, you know, swinger poly types than, than you would expect by that type of work. Definitely. And I'm not sure why that is. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something I've noticed. Yeah. And I, the reason I ask is because as, as a poly person, it's like it, it I, I was thinking in the context of like, there probably being a pretty strong overlap. Uh, I, I think the porn industry just by the public nature of it definitely is, is much more, um, I don't know, uh, exaggerative perhaps in this element, but um as someone who's poly it's like that it's been a struggle to like seriously date people um casually it was fine particularly when i was traveling because i mean by the nature of me traveling people were just like this ain't gonna be anything long term or whatever so you're kind of again you're self-selecting for that but a lot of people say they're either like okay this is a non-starter yeah we can be casual but they're never going to be in a serious relationship i'm like that's fine like i always was trying to be upfront and very transparent and get that alignment but then you got the people and this was surprisingly common that make say it's okay and i legitimately think that they believe that they're going to be okay with it but then you give it some time sometimes very soon uh sometimes later and they have, it's just not good. And the part that breaks my heart the most, and, and I've gotten really good at peeping that out. And I just don't even go down that rabbit hole. But when I was younger and a little less experienced, I, you know, I wanted to take people at face value. And um, there would come a point where like, you can tell they are struggling to make themselves okay with it. And they're like, yeah, I can handle this. It's fine. I just need to get used to it. And there comes a point where you're just like, okay, this is not healthy. Like, this is not, you know, I respect the fact that you're trying, but this is just not going to work. And that can cause a lot of pain. It can cause a lot of pain for them and for you. And it, it's made it difficult because, you know, there's some people that I've dated and I would say they're, um, it's, it's, you know, kind of like a secondary partner or something. Uh, I, I don't mean that that's always in a hierarchy. It's just, we don't spend as much time with each other. Uh, you know, I was very busy in my career at the time, you know, perhaps they were as well, but then it comes to that weird thing where it's just like, do they talk about you to their parents? Do they talk to about you to their coworkers? And like, that's a weird thing. Some people don't care like me. I never cared. I was always like pretty open about it. Like, but some people don't. And some people that I've been with have had very, very like an academia, you know, very public facing things where, you know, they're, maybe they're married and like they're, you know, they kind of exist in a good old boys, you know, kind of conservative network and they don't want that liability. And then it's just like, okay, so whenever you're out with them in public, they have to, you have to act like you're just friends. It's like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> like there's one person I was in a relationship with that was fairly serious and we had to go out of town at least like an hour or two away for us to even be like close in public. It was so fucking weird, man. It was so <laughs> weird. And and now it's like I just wouldn't do any of that shit. But you know, at the time it was my early twenties. I didn't really know. So I have to imagine like in that industry, that's it's gotta be a struggle perhaps to to date civilians that like don't understand, you know? Because even if people are like, oh, this is cool, this is kind of kinky, or or I'm okay with this, or I think I could be okay with this. 
I have to imagine it's probably pretty similar and the reality is just, you know, not what they think it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting cuz I'm going to say it's yes and it's no and I think the the place where it differs is because it comes becomes less about choice. Mm. Right? Like so so someone is in a relationship with you and they and you say, "Hey, I'm polyamorous," right? And then they say, "Well, okay, can I deal with that or not?" But but they may look at it as, "Well, okay, this is his, you know, he's deciding this, this is his choice." And so they'll, they'll they might give you more pushback. Whereas me, sure. like I was always super upfront. Like people ask me, you know, I could be at a bar. I'm meeting them for the first time. I tell them what I do for a living, right? And so I never, you know, I never hidden it my entire life. And so when they, when they understand it's my job, there's way less pushback because they really understand like, hey, this is, this is his livelihood and he is not dropping that. So yeah. what I found at least is they either, they stick with it or they'll, they'll leave it early, but they're not fighting for the steering wheel the same because mm. they just realize it's a non-starter. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's really been my experience. Like when, you know, when I would date civilian girls, um, there wouldn't be that much of an issue because they just knew it was a non-starter. Yeah. Like they, they're like, well, okay. <laughs> I mean, e even as, you know, emotional as they want to get about it, there's still that rational part with female mind. And they're like, yeah, he's probably not giving up his entire livelihood, you know, yeah. because uh, I want that. Whereas they yeah. might feel with you, well, okay, I might be able to make monogamous. Maybe I might be able to change it. Right? Having a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> for for me, it's, it's they're they're, yeah. they're pretty sure they're like, well, you know, let me see, super famous porn guy. Hey, he's probably not yeah. like stopping. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to school tomorrow. and become a dentist. Yeah, 